Hey everyone, it's the Chancy of Warrior Knights here. I want to shoot a quick video for you all to show those of you that don't know how to use the bot exactly how to get the bot installed. So you can see on my screen now, I've got the Kingdom of Camelot loaded and there's a couple of things that are a little bit really annoying and even if you think that the bot's cheating, here's a couple of reasons why I like using the bot. You'll notice that Alliance Chat is underneath. I'm having to scroll down to have a look at the Alliance chat here and then I have to scroll back up again and there's a very good chance that I'm going to miss people messaging me, miss out on conversations etc. So by installing the bot you can do some cool things like have the chat box come over here on the right hand side. So as you're playing you can always see the messages flashing up. So even if you decided you didn't want to use the auto build features it's still a great idea to have it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You'll notice I'm in a browser called Firefox. If any of you are unsure how to get Firefox, just go to Google, do a quick search, and just type in here, Firefox. And you can do this from Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever browser that you're using. But what you'll notice is we can just go to one of these, Mozilla.org, Firefox, and you can install that from any browser that you've got. Now that I've got that done, the next thing that I would need to do is to install something called Grease Monkey. You'll see over here in the far right, I've got a little monkey icon. And to get Grease Monkey, again, just go to Google and just type in Grease Monkey. And you'll see it's the first one, add-on Mozilla.org. And it's add-on Grease Monkey. So I'm just going to click on this one. You'll notice my stuff's coming up in Spanish because I just moved to Spain but yours will be in English or whichever language you're in. I'm just going to click on this. It's prevented from adding it, but would I like to install it? I'm going to say allow, and then that will just be installed, and you'll have it up and running in the corner here now. Any of you don't know what Grease Monkey is, it just allows your browser to run additional scripts on websites like Facebook. And um, So we need Grease Monkey to be installed, so that we can then give it the scripts for the actual bot specifically for KOC. I've installed that in a notepad file so you can see step by step exactly what I'm doing. And there we have it. So first of all install Firefox. If you already have it you can skip that step. If you don't have it install Firefox then install Grease Monkey. Now that I've got Grease Monkey installed I can start thinking about installing the scripts for KOC. So the first thing that you need to do is just type in KOC PowerBot. And you'll see here the scripts, the official scripts come from userscripts.org. So this is the official KOC Scripters edition. I'm going to click onto that. And I've not got the scripts installed at the moment so that I could show you this. And up in the top right, I'm just going to click on install and install that. Now that that has been installed, if I come back to Firefox, what you'll notice at the very top of my screen is I've got a little icon here that says bot. Now that we've got that installed, we need... KOC Power Tools. And again, I'm just going to go back to Google and just type in Power Tools. Okay, so again, we've got the official scripters edition at the top here. So that's the Power Tools. I'll copy that link for you too. And I'll stick that in the notepad file. And I'm going to click install on this one as well. Okay, great stuff. So I've got two of these installed right now. I'm just going to refresh one more time. And you'll see I've now got another tab called Tools. Okay, great stuff. Now that I've got those two scripts installed, I can come into here and I can start doing things like I'm going to go into the bot and I'm going to enable widescreen in my bot. So let's bring drag this back up here. And in order to do that, you'll see I've got all of these different cool tabs in here. But the one that I'm going to concentrate on with to start just so that we can work with this a little easier is the options tab. And I'm going to say enable widescreen and I'm going to change that to widescreen. Now I can close out of this and hit F5 and you'll see just in an enabling widescreen it's just made things a little bit easier for me. You'll see now I've lost everything over on the right hand side that was there before. I've got a much cleaner plate and window. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Then I'm going to head back into the bot again and you'll see I can now, I'm now free to drag this around the whole screen and I'm not losing it. I'm going to go back into the bot and go into the options tab. And I've enabled the widescreen, and what I now want to do is put the chat on the right hand side. So I'm just going to scroll down here and have a quick look for that. Here we can see here KOC features, 
put chat on the right hand side. Now when I close out of this, look, you'll see that it's no longer underneath anymore. I've got the chat here so I can be playing and keep a perfect eye on what's happening. That's one of the main reasons why I like to install the bot straight away, but it's not the only reason. I'm just going to go through now quickly and tell you what I would have in here. Starting from the top, make sure that the four top ones are checked. You don't need to worry about sending me away from Kabam or we'll check user updates. You want the Dark Forest toggle button at the top. You want the Crest one at the top. You don't need the Raid toggle button at the top. You can leave that off. You want to refresh KOC every 30 minutes. What I could also do is click use wide map and I'm just going to scroll down here a little further. I can tell it to auto select city on startup. Every time you refresh your browser, it'll automatically put you into city one. Let's say that your main city is city three for whatever reason. You can just change that to tell it, actually, I don't want it to always load this way. Extra features. I want to help Alliance build research posts. That must be checked because then you'll be able to automatically help people without having to keep clicking their requests. You want to hide their requests in chat so that your chat doesn't get filled up with all of their requests. And you want to hide Alliance chat from global. And then you also want to auto cancel Facebook posts. Every time you do anything, it wants to automatically post to Facebook. The bot will automatically cancel that for you. Hopefully for those people that thought that this was cheating. You see, just using it for this is going to massively improve your overall gaming experience. So even if you decided, once again, if you don't want to use the auto build or the auto train, just using it just for these little tweaks here is going to make it so much better for you. Now what we want to do is we want to auto delete barb and transport reports, auto delete transport reports to you, auto delete wild reports, auto delete dark forest reports, auto delete crest reports, and auto delete incoming reports from alliances on friendly to it's really important that we make sure that our reliance reports are not clogged up and by just making sure that you're automatically deleting all of your reports is great because then alliance reports are going to be constantly left empty if for example you're hitting a dark forest for the first time and you really want to make sure that your troops didn't die just come back into here and just uncheck auto delete so that you can read it but then once you've read it put it back on again so it deletes all of your other ones moving forwards we want to kill Merlin's magic box on startup so that doesn't pop up every time which is quite annoying and in regards to the options that's absolutely fine that takes care of those options right there what I'm going to do is because there's some people that don't like using the bot because they consider it to be cheating I'm going to end this tutorial right now and then I'll shoot a second one to show people how they can set up auto training and auto building on a separate video that I'll send out to you shortly thanks very much for watching I hope you found it helpful Cheers.